This is the latest version of the Tesla wall connector. And if it looks the same as it did before, well, that's because it is. But much like its public network, Tesla is opening up its home charger to non-Tesla vehicle owners. But is the experience just as good? Let's find out. This is the third generation of the Tesla wall connector, and it's been out for quite a while, but it still looks really, really sleek. In fact, you can actually change the front plates to a number of different colors, although that will set you back a pretty pricey 95 pounds. The wall charger is a tethered unit, so it comes with a handy 7.5 meter long cable, which is quite a bit longer than you'll find on other chargers. And it also has a handy storage area for the cable, which is nice in principle, but not perfect. You see, when wrapping the cable around the unit, it actually obscures the dock itself, which is a pretty obvious design flaw in my opinion. And you end up having to wrap the cable quite loosely around the unit in order to get the plug into the dock. The build quality is very, very good though. It's a really, really nice finish, a sturdy unit, especially as similarly priced rivals don't really match the build quality of the Tesla wall connector. Tesla has updated the app so non-Tesla vehicle owners can make use of the wall connector, but in short, it's still a better experience if you own a Tesla. In many ways, Tesla drivers won't notice much of a difference when using the wall connector because a lot of the scheduling features and other smart features were already built into the vehicle. You get a very useful cost tracking tool in the app. So you can monitor how much it's costing you to charge at home, at superchargers, at work or other locations. You have to do a little bit of setting up in the app, of course, but it's actually quite a bit more detailed than other charge point apps I've used in the past. The other main quality of life difference between the Tesla wall connector and other charge points is this little guy here. So if you press this button on the charging plug, it opens up the charge port on your Tesla automatically. Now that prevents you having to go onto the infotainment screen or the Tesla app to open it, which is a nice little feature. You can actually open up the charge port on a Tesla Model 3 and Model Y in my experience. When the vehicle is unlocked, you can just press the charge port, but still, this is a little bit easier. But what about if you're a non-Tesla driver? What's the experience like? Is it any good? Well, yeah, it's pretty good, but the app was in beta when we were testing, so a lot of the core features you'd expect in a smart charger companion app were missing. For example, you could only set one schedule at a time, which isn't world ending, but might be annoying for some. There was also no boost mode, so you can't start an instant charge if you needed the vehicle to be charged right away. And most disappointing of all, there was no real cost tracking feature, um, which is a big problem for most EV drivers. You want to know how much it's gonna cost you to charge that vehicle and just keep track of what is actually happening. So that was a big disappointment. As we say, the app is in beta, or it certainly was at the time of filming. So we do expect some of these features to come in future. So definitely keep checking out our written review on our website where we will keep that updated. If you don't own a Tesla, then it's quite hard to recommend the wall connector based on the non-Tesla app experience alone, as it's missing quite a few features, certainly at the time of filming. However, if your scheduling requirements are pretty simple or you're happy to use the scheduling functions that may be built into your vehicle, and you really like the look of this product, then you certainly won't be disappointed on that front. It's a very nice design, it's excellent build quality, and we fully expect the non-Tesla app experience to improve in the future, so it is certainly worth keeping on your shortlist. If you do own a Tesla, then the wall connector offers the most seamless home charging experience, in my opinion, and it's pretty good value too. It's a shame then that the fiddly cable storage prevents the wall connector from getting a perfect score, but this charge button on the plug does certainly help to offset that somewhat. 
So if you're in the market for a home charger and you have a Tesla vehicle, this should definitely, definitely be on your shortlist. We hope you found this review of the Tesla Wall Connector helpful. If you're after more information, head over to the Smart Home Charge website where you'll find a more detailed written review of this product along with a number of other charge points. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.